The answer to this question might surprise you. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Holy Spirit. Yeah, because I think this is a really important topic, and I also think it's one that a lot of us, including me, have been kind of confused about. And so my first question is, what is the Holy Spirit? Well, the answer to that question is, the Holy Spirit is God. And when I say that the Holy Spirit is God, I'm not saying that the Holy Spirit is like the power of God, or like an energy that comes from God. No, the Holy Spirit is God. So a better question than what is the Holy Spirit is who is the Holy Spirit? Because the Holy Spirit is a person. So actually, instead of saying what is the Holy Spirit, it would probably be better to say who is the Holy Spirit. So let's, let's try that again. There, that's better. The Holy Spirit is a who, not a what. And we talk a lot about God the Father, and we talk a lot about Jesus, but we don't talk a whole lot about the Holy Spirit. God is three persons in one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is incredibly important. The Bible says that when you believe in Jesus, you will have eternal life. And when you believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes and lives in your heart. God himself lives with you. They call that receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. But again, the Holy Spirit is not a gift like a thing. It's the gift of having God himself come and live in your heart. And he does so much for us. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit helps us know how to pray. The Holy Spirit, he gives us power. He helps us to do the things that God has called us to do. It used to be that the Israelites, they had a temple. And that's where the power and like the presence of God was. Right? The temple was kind of like a house for God. But now, because of Jesus' sacrifice for us, we can have the Holy Spirit living inside us. We are God's temple. That is a big deal. Like, that's crazy. We get to have the Holy Spirit. We get to have God with us all the time. That's awesome. And the Bible says that, that the Holy Spirit, he acts like a seal, like a, like a guarantee for our eternal salvation. So yeah, I... I used to be really confused about this because a lot of the things that the Bible says the Holy Spirit is or the, the things that it says the Holy Spirit does are like things, right? Like it says the Holy Spirit is a seal or the Holy Spirit is a gift or the Holy Spirit gives power. But the Bible also shows us a bunch of times that the Holy Spirit is not an it, but a he. He is a person. He is a person that you can make sad. There's a verse that says, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Don't don't make the Holy Spirit sad. You can't make a something sad, only a someone. Jesus told his disciples to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And that's three people in one person, three parts of the same God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So I really hope that you will believe in Jesus Christ. You will believe in Jesus to save you from your sins so that you can have the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because let me tell you, he's awesome. The Holy Spirit helps us and he encourages us and he shows us the right way to live. He, not it, is an incredibly wonderful, amazing gift. The Holy Spirit is God. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, did that surprise you about the Holy Spirit? That the Holy Spirit is a person, not a thing? Because I totally thought the Holy Spirit was a thing until I started reading my Bible. And I started finding these little things in the Bible that, you know, like, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. I was like, well, you can't grieve a thing, right? You can't grieve electricity. You can't lie to electricity. Because, yeah, the Holy Spirit's not a thing. He's a person. He's gone. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And I hope that you'll pick up your Bible and you'll read for yourself. Just about every single time I pick up my Bible, I learn something new. And I'm glad you're here on my channel so that I can share those things with you, those things that I'm learning. But I think it's really important that you also pick up your Bible for yourself. Because I think there are things that you could learn that you could teach me and, and those around you. That's one of the cool things about the body of Christ. We're all connected in the Holy Spirit. We're all a part of the church that's called the body of Christ. And we can all help each other draw closer and closer to God.